All right, so now we want to find an in-behavior model. And we're going to just be given a couple of polynomials here, and we want to dig through these polynomials and do a little bit of math and find an in-behavior. It's really pretty simple. And if you go back and look at the previous example that we were just talking about, the in-behavior model actually was the, the leading terms reduced down. And that gave us an, an answer of one. And so um, that's a big deal because if, if we have um, a polynomial uh, divided by another polynomial, um, we can look at what that in behavior is going to look like based on what those leading terms are. So let's go ahead and look at these two examples that we've got right here and see if we can't figure out what the in behavior models are. First off, the most important thing is we need to know what our leading terms are. And on the left, it's 2x to the fifth over 3x squared. On the right, it's 2x cubed divided by 5x cubed. So let's just go back to the left side. Our in behavior model then is going to resemble this 2x to the fifth divided by 3x squared. Just reduce that down as far as you can. Well, two thirds will not reduce, it's as reduced as it's going to get. But 5 and 2 do reduce. If I've got 2x's on the bottom and 5x's on the top, I can reduce those down to a cube. So my in behavior model on the left is going to be 2 thirds x cubed. Well, what about on the right? On the right, we're going to have 2x cubed over 5x cubed. And again, when we, when we look for things that can factor out, the two-fifths doesn't, doesn't change. It's going to stay two-fifths. But the x cubed divided by x cubed factors out, and so we end up with an in-behavior model of two-fifths. In other words, a horizontal line at y equals two-fifths. And that's just, this is just one kind of way that you can find an in-behavior model. Um, this is really the easiest one. And in fact, it's a really good way to determine if you have a horizontal asymptote or not. Uh, as we've discovered with the red one, uh, we've got a horizontal asymptote. And so this is a really easy way to see those uh, as well.